some of the sheep all right there within 100 yards of each other, but the sheep are kind of working their way down off the hill. We got that big Sandero that runs up. I think we can either cut up that Sandero or go up this road and drop off the side of that hill. One of those two, just play the wind. The good thing is those there was a few rams up on that rise over here, so I think we might be able to get set up and everything right behind, right on the other side of that bush. Which if that worked out, that'd be pretty. All right, Collier said there's a good group of rams right here, and uh, there's a couple. Oh, they're starting to actually work off. See them walking up the road. Just gonna sneak around, grab our stuff, and sneak around the end of the road right here. And Try to get set up. All right, well, we got onto that big Corsican ram and just had him at probably, I don't know, 50 yards and just slinking through the, through the brush here and through the cedar. So we're gonna get up further ahead of him, get on this next gas location and try to look down below and see if we can pick him back out. Pretty good one in there. Definitely. All right, we just covered about a little over a quarter mile now and we got eyes on the sheep up here. And from what I can tell the map from the pins we dropped and using the line tool, we've only got about probably another 80 yards to go and we should be within range. So just gotta hope we can pick out the one we saw from up there and identify the right one and make a good shot.
Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't go far at all. No. Didn't he didn't even even know we were there. But... No. Damn, that was perfect. <laughs> that was a... It took me about 20 minutes to decide which one it wanted to shoot. But... <laughs> that was perfect. They didn't know sure. we were here. No. We had time. Uh -huh. That was perfect. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a bad way to end uh, about an eight-day trip down to Texas. Give Collier a call and come back to the old stomping grounds. And like I said, it's a special place for me. I used to used to run around here with Collier and a bunch of the old hunters that would come through here and. I just couldn't not stop by and he was gracious enough to offer me up a ram here and like I said I, I couldn't ask for a better way to cap off the trip and see some old friends and just kind of reminisce for a couple days but uh, it didn't take long to find them that's for sure. We got up on that location and kind of looked over the whole west side of the property here and spotted them right away. There was a bunch of axis does down in the bottom and a big herd of the sheep here and just moved right in on them put a waypoint in up there on, on the map, running that offline map, just kind of projected a waypoint to where they were so we kind of kept our bearings, you know, being able to go from there to here and get to the location we knew they were at. So really cool way to use base map there from a long distance and then get you into the zone where you need to be. It worked out perfect. He was right where he was when we saw him from, I don't know, probably half a mile away. But just want to say thanks to Collier again. I didn't expect this at all, so. A really nice way to cap off a long trip, long time on the road, catch up with some old friends. How's your pumpkin spice latte? So good. Exactly <laughs> what I needed. <laughs> Little out of the season. Oh yeah. We always keep it real out.